Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, how are you today? I am okay. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. And the rest of you, how are you doing? ¿Cómo les va a los demás? Are you okay? Good, teacher, thanks. Good, perfect. Uh, have you worked on the platform? ¿Han hecho ejercicios de la plataforma? Yes. ¿Cómo están? Van avanzando, eso es bueno, eso es bueno. Así no los van a estar presionando. <laughs> so it's okay to, uh, tienen que ir como a la, eh, si se pueden adelantar bien, lo menos es ir a la par, ¿verdad? And that's it. Okay, so um, if there is no, no question, so I'm going to start. Si no tienen una pregunta um, con respecto a los ejercicios de la plataforma, alguna duda, no sé si han visto los videos ahorita antes de la clase. ¿No? Yo ayer no estuve, bueno, yo estuve viendo hoy hasta el 2.6, me he quedado, pero no sé si ayer vieron eso, porque ayer sí no pude estar. Sí, por ahí llegamos. Vamos a ver, so, lo que hicimos ayer fue practicar esta, una conversación que es, es la que está acá. Sí. Es el ejercicio 2.3. Hasta ahí llegamos ayer. So, practicamos la conversación, pero no entramos a lo que es en sí el tema gramatical, que es lo que vamos a hacer ahora. Ok, so for the ones who didn't see the video, we're going to watch it today. Um. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they, and 
the auxiliary do or don't? So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does, or negative by saying no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Um. Okay, what did you understand from the video? Is the video clear? Okay, what is mentioned here is basically the structure and how do we form yes, no questions with short answers. Esto es lo que ya estuvimos practicando ayer, ¿verdad? Decíamos que la simple present yes, no question. Van a empezar con el auxiliar do o Does, dependiendo del sujeto. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar do? Cuando el sujeto sea. I. I. You. I do. We. They. And they. Ajá. ¿Y cuándo vamos a usar does? Cuando el sujeto es. He. 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 Ajá. Como vemos aquí el caso, ¿verdad? El sujeto aquí es Chris. Entonces, Chris es él. He es una tercera persona singular. Aquí el sujeto es la casa. The house. Entonces, es it. Es una cosa. Entonces, por eso usamos that. Does he, does she, does it. And so on. Well, uh, también en la respuesta vamos a ir utilizando el, el auxiliar, ¿verdad? En el caso que sea afirmativa, como aquí, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Y si es negativa, no, I don't. Ok. Y en el caso de la third person, so we use does in the question and also in the answer. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does like here. Or if it is negative, no, he doesn't. Okay. Any questions so far? Tienen alguna duda con esto? Vocabulary maybe? No questions? Okay, if there are no questions, we can continue with this exercise. Aquí vamos a practicar un poco. Complete the conversation and then practice with a partner. I don't want it to take too much time. Uh, we're going to just to complete the answers in the notebook. Pueden ir completando las respuestas en su cuaderno. Okay, para que no les tome mucho tiempo. Now, uh, complete the conversation. Tenemos que ir leyendo y como dándole sentido, llevar un, un hilo, ¿verdad? Tenemos la primera hecha. Vemos que es una pregunta. Entonces aquí faltaba el... El auxiliar, el sujeto es you, entonces usamos do. You, y como estamos hablando de vivir, qué apartamentos, qué casa, y, y lo que tienen. So, en este caso es live. Do you live in an apartment? La respuesta sería no, I. Don't. Don't, ajá, don't. No, I don't, punto. I, y dice in a house. ¿Qué falta aquí? Live. Ajá. Eso sería, no, I don't. I live in a house. 
Y así van a ir haciendo con lo demás que falta acá. Les voy a dar tiempo para que vayan leyendo, analizando, completando y luego vamos a revisar. Have you finished? Finish? Can we check your answers? Yes, finish. Okay, perfect. So we completed this part and we said, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Who continues here? 
Does, does it have a yard? Excellent. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Perfect. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Excellent. Do you live alone? No, I don't. No, I don't. I? I live with my family. Uh-huh. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Excellent. Yes, I do have, perdón, yes, I do, I have four sisters. Excellent. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Excellent. And here? Really? Really, does your house have many bedrooms? Excellent. Does your house have many bedrooms? And here? Yes, it? Does. Does. Yes, it does. It? Has four. Do you have, pardon, do you have your own bedroom? Excellent. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Excellent. So if you have those answers, they are correct. And here you can see the whole conversation. So what we're going to do with this is to practice and then we're going to get in groups so you can practice with your classmates. Let's repeat. You can repeat along. Uh, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have uh, many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. All right. What we're going to do now is to practice this conversation in groups. So I would like to ask you to um, take a picture of the conversation or a screenshot because I'm going to create a section group so you can practice with your classmates. So get ready for that. Okay, there you go. Click join or next so you can get in groups and practice with your classmates.
sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, I does. It has four. Do you have a your own bedroom? Yes, yes. I thought I'm really looking. Okay, you did a very nice job. Just remember here the pronunciation is live. 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 Mm -hmm. Live. Live. And here is lucky. Lucky. Yes, there is. So you can continue practicing. Este teacher y la que dice la O W N O. On. 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 Sí, your own. On. Yes. Okay. Aurora está ahí con Alejandro. Vaya, voy yo entonces. ¿Quién con quién? No sé si Alejandro está por ahí. Escucha. Sí. Hola. No escucho. Algo a lo lejos, Hola. pero sí. Hola. Hola. Sí. Bueno, eh, empecemos. Vaya. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. I have four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay. Okay. Cambiamos y ahora preguntamos nosotros. Okay. Me parece. Sí, está bien. ¿Empiezo yo o Carlos? That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have a brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Ahora, empiezo yo. Así que, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Yes, I does. That's so nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters?
Okay, I see that everybody is in the main section again. Okay, that conversation was quite easy, so we did a very, very nice job with this, so we're going to continue with this presentation. Now, our next topic, our next exercise is, um, we're going to study a little bit about vocabulary. Uh, this is common vocabulary about furniture. You know what furniture is? Furniture. No? Yes? What's furniture? Okay, so we're going to watch the video about furniture and then if you have any question you can ask. Television. Other vocabulary that and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains. Pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, Rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has... After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so... That is the vocabulary, and I'm going to play this one. Dresser. Because este creo que se ve un poquito más claro que el que yo tengo ahí. Uh, so, do you have any question regarding to this vocabulary? No questions? No hay ninguna pregunta sobre este vocabulario? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice cortinas? Curtains. Curtains. Excellent. That's the okay. pronunciation. Curtains. Any other question? Microondas. Microwave. Mi microwave. La alfombra, teacher. Alfombra, this one is rug. Rug. Hay una diferencia en las alfombras. Este rug es como una alfombra pequeña, un tapete, rug. La que es cubre todo el piso, la que es completa para todo el piso, se llama carpet. Como que va a decir carpeta, pero sin a carpet. Así es, esa es la alfombra completa, carpet. Y el tapete pequeño, la alfombra, ese es rug. Al igual que si se fijan nosotros, eh, el sofá, 
es el sillón grande. Normalmente los juegos de sala traen un sofá y uno o dos sillones chiquitos. El grande se llama sofá, sofá. Y los pequeños, estos se les llama armchairs, armchairs. Y luego pues están las sillas, las chairs. Ok. ¿Cómo se Ay. dice refrigeradora, teacher? Es es refrigerator. Refrigerator. Fra okay. Refrigerator. Ajá, uh -huh. ese es quite a long. Mm -hmm. It's so uh, okay. It's refrigerator. It's quite a long. Refrigerator. De hecho, ya casi no se usa esa palabra tan larga. Eh, lo más común que la dicen en vez de decir todo es refrigerator, refrigerator, es es fridge. Let's see, fridge. Es más usado que refrigerator. They say fridge. Es más fácil y más corto y más común. Casi no se oye decir refrigerator. Okay, any other question? Okay, so what is um, uh, something that is, uh, lo que se les recomienda hacer acá es como escribir en el discussion form después del video, así como ven aquí. My living room has a table, a rug, a television, curtains, and a sofa. Acuérdense que cuando es plural, como aquí curtains, no vamos a poner a or an. Ok. Y aquí pues se ven las participaciones. Esto solo lo con dar clic aquí en añadir una publicación. Ya ustedes pueden hacer un post aquí. Como les repito, esto no es evaluado. Pero sí es importante que lo hagan porque les sirve a ustedes como práctica y a nosotros para, para ver cómo están haciendo, si hay algo que reforzar. Aquí vamos, nos va sirviendo de guía también. Ok. So, if there are no questions, we can continue with the to exercise, right? Ya que definimos vocabulario, vamos a continuar acá con el ejercicio. So let me share my screen. Okay, we're going to answer these questions. Vamos a responder estas preguntas by looking at the picture. We're going to watch the picture, analyze the picture, and then we're going to ask and answer these questions. For example, the number one, we can use it as an example. Does she have a television? Yes, she does. Uh, let's see with the number two. Let's see, Marta. Does she need curtains? Does she need curtains? Yes. She need. <laughs> she, uh... No. No. She yes, doesn't. she does. No, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Ah, no, she doesn't. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, entendí la pregunta. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> del verbo need es necesitar. That she sí, need sí. curtains? No, she doesn't. Sí. No, okay. she doesn't. Ahora usted, Marta, hágame un favor, pregunte la número tres a otro compañero o compañera. A ver, Eunice, does she need a sofa? Yes, she does. Excellent. Eunice, continue with number four. Thank you. Evelyn, does she need a sofa? Uh, perdón, la perdón, siguiente, perdón. number four. <laughs> does she have a chair? Yes, she doesn't. She does. Yes, she does. Mm. El verbo have, ¿qué significa have? Have a Tener. Yes. Ah. Mm, 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 mm. 
Does she have a chair? Uh, no. 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 No, she doesn't. Doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, continue. Ahora usted le pregunta a otro compañero, la que sigue, does she have a rug? Déjeme ver quiénes están. Carla Torres. Ok. Permítame, sería... Does she have a rug? Yes, yes, she does. Excellent. Continue, Carla, with number six. Does she need pictures? Um, Ana Rodriguez. Does she need pictures? Remember pictures? Pictures. Son las cuadros o al decorados pictures. Mm -hmm. Does she need pictures? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Correct, Marta. No, she doesn't. Ahora vamos a ver, Marta. Uy, ¿por qué se me fue hasta allá esto? Ok. <ríe> Continue with number seven, Marta. Pregúntele a alguien a siete. Ok. Do they have a lamp? Aquí. Uh, Alejandro. Repeat me. Do they have a lamp? Do they have, perdón, do they, do they have a lamp? Seven. Uh -huh. uh, no. Seven question. No. They, uh, they does. They yeah, doesn't. Okay, um, okay, thank you. Oh. The question is, do they have a lamp? Number seven, ¿qué significa have? De tener. De tener. tener. La pregunta que dice entonces, ¿tienen una lámpara? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. they yes. does. Yes, they... They do. Do. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, they uh -huh. do. Now, Alejandro, ask number eight. Pregúntela ocho a otro compañero o compañera. Yes, they do. Number eight, Alejandro. El otro Alejandro, el tocayo. Ay, sí. Bueno, es que hoy hay dos, ¿verdad? Creo que hoy nos dimos cuenta. <ríe> Alejandro Recino y el otro es hoy les vamos a decir con apellido Rivera ok <ríe> Rivera number eight do, you, do they need a table yes they do yes they do now Alejandro Rivera <ríe> Continue. Number nine. Déjeme ver aquí. Ahí vea la lista donde dice participants. Do they have chairs? Ah, uh, Elisa ya le preguntaron. Yes, they do. A Elisa no he escuchado que le pregunten. No, no okay. me lo preguntan. Ah, pues, ella. Sí. Uh, do they have chairs? Yes, they do. Do they have chairs? Um, yes, I get do they chair. Mm. ¿Qué significa chairs? Cortinas. Sí, sí, ya. Sí, ya. Sí, ya. ¿Y qué significa have? Tener. Tener. Now, the question is, do they have chairs? 
No, sí, they don't. No, they do. No, they do. No, they don't. Do. Ok, no, acuérdense que cuando estamos negando usamos don't or doesn't. Entonces sería, en este caso, no, no they, they don't. don't. They. Ajá, no, they don't. No, they don't. Do they have no, chairs? They no, they don't. Now, Elisa, can you continue with the next question? La número 10. Um, a cualquiera, ¿verdad? Do they need a cloak? Uh -huh. Aquí ni arriba ya le preguntaron. No, no. no. Uh, do they need a clock? No, they don't. No, they don't. Okay, Kenya, continue with number 11. Um, Berenice López. Do they have a mirror? No. No, they, no, they don't. Okay, excellent. Continue with the last one. Ya solo nos queda una. Quiero ver. Por tío, creo que me lo han preguntado. Yo creo que a mí a aquí Carla. adelante, antes que todo, que para firmar se utilizaría como. Yes. Yes, they do. Luego, ajá, excelente. Yes, they do. Ah, bueno. <risa> Okay. No, eh. Sí, es que no pude estar ayer y por eso le... Ah. Ok, so do they need curtains? Ahí sería, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Ah, porque sí las necesita. Uh -huh. Ok, that was the exercise about now. Let's watch this video. Um, so remember that we're going to continue with this topic. Vamos a seguir practicando. Lo han hecho muy bien. Este es el primero que hacemos así sin escribir, solo de un solo hablar, ¿verdad? Y lo hicieron muy bien, muy bien. Pero esto es práctica. Si de repente hay un, a ese nos confundimos o se, uh, pero eso se va quitando a medida vamos practicando y practicando. Acuérdense que este tema, como les repito, se ve casi los tres primeros módulos básicos. Se va repitiendo esto. So don't worry, you, you will get it. Okay, now let's watch the video. So we're going to discover what's the next topic about. Siempre es relacionado con lo mismo, so don't worry. It's vocabulary, furniture. De casi que terminamos la sección 2. Ok, let's see. Vamos a verlo, analizarlo. Me dicen que entendieron del video y vamos a explicar un poco más. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. 
There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there, then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see, there's. We will use the article A, the complement is bed, in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence we have there, the verb to be is, is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article A because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. There isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we are expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now, let's look at the right-hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no, plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room, we start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. It's important to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, um, what did you understand from the video?
¿Qué entendieron? ¿Qué lograron entender del video? En singular form se okay. utilizaría el del is and ins. Ins, perdón. There is and there are. Ok, so para singular vamos a usar there is. That's a good catch. Uh -huh. Está bien. ¿Qué más pueden decir? ¿Para qué sirve there is y there are? Es para indicar eh, es como el haber. Exacto. Ahí. That's it. Excellent. Es para hablar de la existencia o no existencia de algo. Hay o no hay, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, hay un um, hay un mouse en my or hay un vaso de agua en my desktop. There is a glass of water. Nada elegante <laughs> in my uh, that's the right uh etc so i'm going to share this screen creo que si, si lo tengo por acá okay 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 this is basically what you saw on the video there is lo vamos a usar cuando queramos expresar que hay algo y ese para tiene que ser algo en singular o sea un objeto si es que existe o que hay, bueno, decimos there is. Y si no hay, there isn't. Eh, luego tenemos a uh, el quantifier que usamos con singulares a or an, dependiendo de qué. Es si o sea, el complemento empezaría con una vocal o con una consonante. Exacto, excelente. Dependiendo, ¿verdad? Del siguiente sonido, es que usamos a or an. So you can say there is a lamp in the living room. There is a lamp in the living room. Arm chair. Mm -hmm. So that would depend, va a depender, ¿verdad? Si el, el siguiente noun empieza con consonantes, so we use a. If it is a start with a vowel, si se empieza con vocal, usamos an, right? Y solo cuando estemos hablando de un objeto singular. Por ejemplo, there is a lamp in the living room. There is an armchair in the living room. So it will depend. Now, if it is negative, si fuera negativo, decimos isn't para expresar si algo no existe. There isn't. Puedo decir que no hay leche en el refrigerador. There is isn't milk in the fridge. There isn't milk in the fridge. Right? Eso ya es para hacer una oración negativa, hablar de algo que no existe o que no hay. Ahora, si es plural, usamos there aren't o are not. Y ya no usamos a or an. Ahí sí ya no se usa porque el, estamos para algo plural, el there are o there are not. Y el a y el an solo lo usamos cuando vamos a mencionar algo singular. So ahí ya no usamos a or an. Y también nos hablaba de otros quantifiers que son some y any. Ok. Some lo vamos a usar en oraciones afirmativas. Some significa algunos o algunas. En este caso tenemos como ejemplo, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Hay algunas sillas en la, en la cocina. So remember, some lo vamos a usar solo cuando estemos haciendo oraciones afirmativas. Y luego tenemos any o no. Puede usar no o puede usar any en oraciones negativas y está bien. 
Cualquiera de los dos es correcto. So you can say there are no chairs in the living room o there aren't any chairs in the living room. Puede usar no o puede usar any, cualquiera de los dos. Pero no vaya a usar los dos juntos. A veces sucede que usan los dos juntos. No any, eso está incorrecto. O usa no o usa any. Not any. Uh -huh. There are no. Aquí estamos diciendo there are no. Pero aquí es aren't any. Ok. So en este caso sí, there aren't any. Pero no podemos usar no y any juntos. Right. That is incorrect. There are no chairs in the living room or there aren't any chairs in the living room. So that's basically about the grammar. So no sé si tienen alguna pregunta con esto. O ya quedó un poco más explicado. No questions? No questions. Okay, perfect. So if there are no questions, so we're going to stop here. So para mañana tienen que completar los ejercicios que ya vamos a mitad de la sección 2, casi la vamos a terminar y a empezar la 3. Entonces es importante que se pongan al día con los ejercicios que son los knowledge check. Recuerden que las discusiones, pues esas sí ayudan, es una práctica extra, pero sí necesito que se enfoquen en, en ir completando los knowledge check. Así que si tienen alguna dificultad con los ejercicios, escriban. Eh, pueden escribir al grupo, me pueden escribir a mí. Yo tal vez no les contesto tan rápido, pero sí les contesto. <ríe> en el grupo a veces se pierden los mensajes. So it's quite difficult. Ok, so remember that. Ahí estamos para ayudarles, para servir cualquier duda o consulta. Eh, no lo duden en hacerlo, ¿verdad? No me van a decir, ay, no hice el ejercicio porque no entendí, eso no se vale. So, tienen que ir al día para que, pues, eh, su proceso no vaya a tener ningún impedimento para extender el certificado o para aprobar el curso. Acuérdense que tienen que estar completos con mínimo de ocho para que les pueda, antes de que termine el curso, ¿verdad? No, así no vamos a correr a última hora. Ok. So, no questions. No. Okay, so thank you for uh, joining today's section. I know that you are tired. So let's go to bed and sleep well. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. -bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.